under the scorching sun in the Ulilinzi village of southeastern Kenya, farmers are engaging in unique land preparations. Exacerbated by drought from climate change, the sandy soils in this area, like in most arid and semi-arid areas, has made it nearly impossible to produce abundant crops. However, a new water retention technology developed in the U.S. is giving farmers here new hope. The subsurface technology involves installation of specially designed polyethylene membranes in the ground to prevent the loss of moisture and nutrients from the soil. We had a lot of government funding into the millions and millions of dollars to put all of this whole system together and then test it in Texas, Arizona, California, and Michigan. And these were all four universities that worked with us. So this is not something we put in a little container in the backyard, my backyard, and now we're saying it's the best in the world. It's been tested. Shem Kuya, a researcher at the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, is one of the scientists leading the trials of the technology in Kenya. We have tested the technology with cowpea. We have also tested the technology with maize. And we realized that farms where we had installed these membranes were more productive. The technology has so far been tested in Zimbabwe and Kenya and is getting good reviews. When this technology came, I was trained on how to make my sandy soil farm fertile. I saw the benefits and deployed it in my farm, and I can say that this technology is working very well because now I get a good harvest. This technology is very good. When it was used on my farm for trials, I harvested a lot of maize. Even now, we have vegetables which you can't find anywhere else around here. The International Center for Tropical Agriculture is among the organizations spearheading trials of the subsurface water retention technology in the sub-Saharan region and says it can bring about a green revolution in the long run. In addition to the technologies, farmers, if they continue uh, applying, for instance, manure, uh, retaining their crop residues in the soil, reducing the tillage in the soils, then there is build-up of organic matter. So even in five years to come, the yields that we have been witnessing in the plots with, with, that have the technology are expected to be much higher. A key drawback of this new water retention technology is the high cost and labor involved. It costs about 1250 to 2000 US dollars to buy the specialized membranes to cover one acre of land. The challenge now is making this technology available for farmers in remote areas who need it the most. Juma Majanga for VOA News, Kibwezi, Kenya.